Thank you very much. Good evening, uh, fellow inductees, uh, my family, especially my granddaughter Kiara who's with us, and also uh, my friends here. Imagine a world before the World Wide Web. Imagine a time before uh, you had smartphones, and imagine a life where you'd have, you had to live with X25. And uh, this was the time I was dreaming of a research academic network for Sri Lankan academic community. Um, it was in 1983, the Vice Chancellor of University of Muratua, Professor Billy Mendes, asked me to set up a department to teach computing. And at that time, I came from electrical engineering, so I, I've been teaching Fortran, but not computing or computing science. So I looked around and found that there were courses in Hong Kong, Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia at that time. So I came to Hong Kong in 1984. And I visited the Hong Kong University, uh, studied their curriculum. And that was the first time I got a taste of research and academic networking. It was fascinating to see, even in 1984, with all the non-standard disparate technologies, they were somehow exchanging information. And in 1989, I proposed to the Sri Lankan government the setting up of what I call LEARN, Lanka Experimental Academic and Research Network. You can imagine being a developing country, funds are not easy to come by. So in 1990, with very limited resources I had, we launched Learn Mail, the first IP-based email for academics and researchers in the country. Initially, of course, Steve missed Sri Lanka in the list. Um, Randy was always helping us to connect to UCP. So we were sending mail by IDD, which was very expensive at the time, connecting three times a week. Now, of course, the volume exploded. And within a few months, we were connecting three times a day. And because it was expensive, um, we had to seek support. And I must mention the support we got from the Computer and Information Technology Council of Sri Lanka. At the time, I was an inaugural board member, so I was able to twist their arms, get some funds. The University Grants Commission of Sri Lanka, and also the LUCNET, a not-for-profit organization set up in the US to support new ICT endeavors in Sri Lanka. In 1992, I reformulated the proposal and submitted to the government again, but this time calling Learn Internet. Now X25 was gone, and I was happy. And uh, that time I was lucky. The government was happy to provide 3 million Sri Lankan rupees, about 30,000, 40,000 US dollars at the time. And we were able to buy routers and 364 kilobits per second wireless links. And again, um, I should mention here the uh, developing country workshops organized, by, organized and funded by the Internet Society. That's where I met great people like Randy and George Sadowski, and I came to about Steve, and uh, with people like Ben Siegel helping us. Um, we were able to set up the first IP van in Sri Lanka connecting my university, University of Muratua, to the University of Colombo and the Open University. And the rest, as they say, is history. So I'm standing here today, uh, certainly not uh, because of only my effort. It was celebrating this collective effort that we put in. So I, I'm not going to mention names, but at least I should mention the brilliant students I had. Uh, most of them are professionals on their own rights today. Uh, Professor Gihan Das, uh, Professor Lalit Kamage, uh, Professor Nimal Ratnayaka, they were all helping me at the time to set it up. And uh, I'm very glad that country has benefited. I've been able to make a significant impact on the socioeconomic development in that country. And I'm very delighted to be here today. I'm deeply honored to be part of this celebration. Thank you, Internet Society, and thank you very much.